Next.js is the number one React framework for building full-stack web applications. The websites of TikTok, Twitch, Hulu, Notion, HBO Max, ChatGPT, and many other big names are built with Next.js. The latest version of Next.js, the version 14, landed with support for two features that I have been waiting for for a long, long time. Server components and server actions. Server components was already a thing in version 13 but server actions are finally stable. Since version 14 was released, I have been upgrading all my projects to it. And all I can say is, wow. The developer experience and productivity are through the roof. I have deleted lots of lines of code. There are libraries I don't even need anymore. And my users download way less JS code. Server components allow us to choose if a component should be rendered only in the server or not. By default, older versions of Next.js render your components twice, once in the backend and once in the frontend. It pre-renders them in the backend so when a user goes to your page, they will at least see a non-interactive version of your app. And then it initializes a React app on top of the non-interactive UI to make it interactive. This means the browser downloads the code of all the components to render them again in the browser. Because the browser downloads the code of the components, that means that anybody could see their source code, which means we can't connect to our database from them or expose our secret API keys. Instead, we need to fetch from an API that will securely talk to our database or use the API keys in a backend. Or we can use server components because they allow us to opt out of the second render. That means the component will only be rendered once in the backend and only the resulting UI will be given to the user and not the component's JavaScript code. That has huge consequences for us. That means the user doesn't have to download and render all the components of your application in the browser and it allows us to delete crazy amounts of code. We can go from this, where we have to use a state, use effect and call an API to this where we don't need to fetch an API, we don't even need to have an API, and we can just talk to the database directly. The code for the component will never be downloaded by the user. Only the UI the component returns. To handle loading states with server components, we can use suspense. When the user goes to the page, they will immediately see a UI with a loading post text. Then when the post component is done fetching the post, using streaming, Next.js will replace the loading post text with the resulting UI of the post component. Just like that, the need for an API and a fetching library is gone. Amazing. All components are by default server components, which means they will be rendered only one time. If you need to use APIs of the browser of the user, like local storage or geolocation, or if you need to use onClick or any other event listener for interactivity, all you have to do is write use client at the top of the component like this. That will tell Next.js that you want this component to be hydrated in the browser of the user. Use client does not mean the component will be rendered only in the client. It means it will be rendered also in the client. I think use client is confusing because it sounds like the component will only be rendered in the client, which isn't true. It's rendered in both server and client. You can think of use client as use hydrate, which is more accurate and easy to understand. Server actions is better seen than explained. All you have to know is that they make the developer experience of data mutations incredible. An example of a data mutation is when a user creates an account on your website, for example. Without server actions, we would have to have an unsubmit function in our component. That will send a post request to an APR route in API users to create an account for the user that submitted the form. That means we also have to have an API endpoint in our backend that talks to the database and creates the user account. Or we can use server actions and get rid of the API completely, as well as the fetch code that sends the data to the API to make our component look like this. Just like that, the create user function is now going to run securely in the server. Next.js will pass the form and data that the user wrote in the front end to the function automatically. To know what the state of the mutation is, so we can show the user a loading message or show the user some errors, we have two hooks we can use. One is the use form status hook that we can call from any child of the form like this. And another one is the use form state that allows us to have more structure in our responses in case there is an error. Actions also have lots of cool functions to revalidate data, check cookies, or even redirect the user when the mutation is finished. How cool is this? Again, we can get rid of the API endpoint and fetch code completely. And just write the logic right there in our component. Next.js will handle it all. It will pass data between component and action, all behind the scenes and securely. We don't have to do anything, it just works. That's it for this video. If you want to learn more about Next.js for free, check out the free four hour course that I just finished uploading and that you can join right now for the low price of free. 32 videos, four hours, all free. And if you want to learn even more about Next.js and squeeze the framework from all its features, check out our Carrot Market clone 
Python coding course. This is a course that I recorded with Next.js version 12 and that I am now updating to version 14. I am re-recording it completely, all 100% new. Everyone that bought the version 12 course will get the version 14 course for absolutely free, no exceptions. In Carrot Market, we built a fully fledged Next.js application with Tailwind, Prisma, PlanetScale, Cloudflare, and more. We implement user authentication, file uploads, user profiles, reviews, and more. We also learn about Cloudflare workers and learn about a durable object to build serverless real-time experiences and use Cloudflare Stream for live shopping as well. It is absolutely awesome and this version is even better with the power of Next.js 14. Server components, server actions, and more. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching as always. Onjana kamsahago, sarang hamid See you on the next one. Down me by you. Bye bye.